Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome back to Forza Motorsport. I'm so excited to be playing this game again. It's been a while. I am in the iconic muscle series in a Mustang, of course, in the third race, Watkins Glen. And finally, I discovered that there's an update to the G920 steering wheel. Um, I've been racing with the wrong game setup because it did not exist. I started playing this game like pre you know, pre-game, and I had to choose a different game. I, I probably should have chose something like generic, but now they have Forza Motorsport as an actual setup, a default setup in um, the steering wheel software. So um, super excited, but could I leave that alone? No. I also played with and tweaked all kinds of settings while I was doing it in the game itself. Um, shouldn't have done that, but um, the results aren't bad. So I start third. And uh, we'll see how we do here. Quickly, I noticed, um, even though my, my acceleration isn't uh, better, it's actually worse after my changes, uh, I am able to uh, gain on these cars and keep my third position. And then pretty easily uh, put myself into a position where I think I can pass uh, for seconds. So, and then I also noticed that the handling is better right away, much better. It's not perfect. I'm still doing quite a bit of a wobble. It's kind of like an oversteer wobble is what I'd call it. So after I steer tightly, it oversteers and then it wobbles. And that's not great. I think it has something to do with the spring returning to center on those settings. Um, so still got to tweak those a little bit. Um, but here I can run through that little S curve better than I had before. And then really like how I can kind of follow that arrow or follow that inside line better than I ever have before. So I'm liking it already better here's off the track with some wobble and yeah it's not perfect it's not perfect it's better into the corner i changed the ride height i changed the spring settings um and a few other things and made note of that just to see what i thought so while i can tuck in i still have a hard time keeping it um through st keeping it on the, there we go pass for a second keeping it uh on the on that line through the corner i'm always pushed outside and sometimes into a wall or into the grass but better and so following that guy bumping him a little bit i'm going to go ahead and t overtake him because of that bump and uh there i that way i would have gone into the grass previously so um improved i and i'm excited about that and i think i probably should have tried just the just the uh Forza Motorsport default settings first before I tweaked anything and I'll probably go back to default um, settings but keep that after this race so decent top speed staying in third between third and fourth most of the race S curves smoother than I've ever taken those before and tuck inside and there's the oversteer and the wobble again. And that's what that's what's killing me. Gotta fix that. So tuck in. That one pushed me outside quite a bit. Tuck in. And then over understeer a little bit. I guess that was an oversteer inside. Tuck in. Go wide. Wobble. Tuck in. And that was a good one. That was a smooth corner. Tuck in. Go wide. Wobble. So playing it back at high speed really helps you see your corners um, and see if there's any consistent um, practices or issues. The S-curve is looking great, but the other ones, it's, it's oversteer and then a wobble like there every time. So tuck in, go out, boom. And when you hit the wall in Forza, unfortunately, you can't just scrape your way forward. You have to shift in reverse. Hope your steering wheel is not wound around. Uh, since I'm shifting, I'm paddle shifting, and you have to get back into reverse, then back into first, and then luck. I was lucky here because I was far enough out front that I didn't get overtaken. That could have blown the whole race. And here we are in the last lap. Tuck in, inside wobble, tuck in, inside wobble, and nice straight away through the S curves here. Boom, boom, and boom. Love that. So that was outside push and a wobble <laughs> so at least you recognize you can start to recognize what your car is doing and of course by the time you figure it out they give you a new car 
<laughs> so the challenge of Forza Motorsport is you really don't get to keep. They call it Builder's Cup because they say you're going to keep your car and keep working it and learning how to, you know, you don't really. You, you use it for a, a one session, one series, and then you move on to something else. But, you know, you, I'll come back and I'll be able to use this. So, all right, we'll take first. That's, that's awesome. Happy to do that. And then overall, first by... Oh gosh, nine points first out front in the in the series championship, and two Camaros this time on my tail with my orange Mustang out front for first. Uh, there's my driver level 34 points that I earned. Also, really excited that I earned a engine swap. Not sure how to do that, but um, so a couple couple swaps there that I'm anxious to put in and for my fourth race. I'll catch you next time. Mission John's is out.